Hi, in this video I'd like to show you how to draw a regular pentagon using just a ruler and a compass. But before I do, we should check whether that is possible. To see if you can make a regular n-gon, in this case n is 5, with a ruler and a compass, we just need to apply this test. We'll find all the odd prime factors of the number of sides. For a pentagon, that's 5, and that's the only odd prime factor of 5, is 5 itself. Are these all different? Well, there's only one, so it's all different. And are they all powers of 2 plus 1? Well, 5 is 4 plus 1, and 4 is 2 to the power of 2. So sure, 5 also passes this test, and we can construct a regular pentagon using a ruler and a compass. To start with, I'd like to show you how to draw a regular pentagon whose edges are exactly this long, the length of this line segment here. So, first of all, I'll take the ruler and we'll make this line, we'll make this line a bit longer. Say, extend the line out to about there, say. Alright. Next, you take the compass. Make sure the radius of the compass is the length of the edge that you want. And we'll draw some bits of the circle whose center is B. Maybe an arc around to there, and another piece of arc down the bottom. Then, we'll do the same for A. Put the compass point on A, on A, put the compass point on A, draw the arc like that, and another bit down the bottom there. So, once we've done that, we can join these two points here to find the midpoint between A and B. The midpoint between A and B is there. I'll also extend that line a bit further up. So there it is. We'll give this point a name. We'll call it C. Once we've got that, again, keeping the compass at this radius, We'll put the compass point on C and find that point that's exactly this edge length above C. Let's call that D. Now it's time to adjust the compass. We'll make the radius of the compass equal to the distance from A to D and Having done that, put the point on A and see, see where this circle meets this line. Just about there. Let's call this point E. Now this distance from C to E, very important distance. So we'll make the compass length equal to that. We'll make the compass radius equal to the distance from C to E, and we're ready to find all the remaining points of our pentagon. There's one there, there'll be one there, now that we've got the five points of the pentagon, A, B, and these three points, we're ready to join them up. So, And there you have it, a regular pentagon constructed using a ruler and a compass with a given edge length. 
Next, let's see how to draw a pentagon inside a given circle. So here's the circle. The center's A. Here's a B. There's B, a point on the circumference. And I've got my compass set to this distance from A to B. Well, let's begin. I'll put the compass point on B and I'll draw a few arcs and one out there, out the back of the circle. Why? We'll see in just a moment. I'll put my point, the point of the compass here to find another point out there. So we've got a few points around the circle now. Let's give them names. We'll call this one C and this one we'll call D. Then, with the ruler, we can draw a straight line from D through B and see where it intersects this arc here. Just there. Alright, let's give this point a name. We'll call it E. Next, if I take the compass and I set the radius of the compass to the distance from C to E, then I'll be ready. Then, then I'll... Okay, so I've set the compass to the radius from C to E. I put the compass point on A. And I'll draw a little arc out here. Now what's that arc for? Well, we're going to find out where this arc meets the line from C to B. So I'll, put the, I'll draw the line carefully and we'll call this point F. We have to get that distance accurately because the distance from E to F is just the distance we want for the edges of for the edges of the pentagon we're going to draw. So now I put the compass point on B, well anywhere will do. Any point that's on the circumference of the circle. And we start drawing these arcs. And sure enough, they form the points of a regular pentagon. Now we just have to join them up using the ruler and the, using the ruler. And that's how you can draw a regular pentagon using a ruler and a compass. Now, I've already shown you how to draw a regular pentagon whose edge length is given. I've also shown you how to draw a regular pentagon inside a given circle. Now we're going to draw one that's outside a given circle, so the edges of the pentagon will just skim this circle. To do that, the first thing, you've got the centre of the circle and a point on the radius, on the circumference. Let's take this line, let's take the ruler and draw a line right through the circle. So I've got a new point C down here. Then, take the compass Make sure the radius of the compass is set to the circumference of the circle. And with the point on this new, with the point of the compass on this new point C, I'll draw a couple of arcs, one down there, one over there. We also draw some arcs with the point of the compass at A. Just a short one up there. Finally, from B, I put the point of the compass on B, which is opposite C, and 
We'll find out where that meets that line then. So we've got two new points now. I'll call these D and E. And what we want to do is draw the line between E and D and see where it meets this line from B to C. So I'll do this carefully. And we don't need to draw the whole line. We just want to see this intersection point. Let's call that F. Now that I have F, I will set the length, the radius of the compass to the distance from B to F. So if we do this and get it right. All right. Now the radius of the compass is the distance from B to F. So I put the point on B and I'll see where it meets this big circle whose center is C. Just there. Let's call this point G. Now, we've got everything we need now to... We've got everything now that we need to draw the... We've got everything we need now to draw our pentagon. Okay, the compass is still set to the distance from B to F. I'll put the compass on A and I'll draw myself a circle. So a circle that's slightly bigger than my original circle. Finally, if I take my compass, put the point on F, and I make the radius equal to the distance from F to G, can you see me doing that? Then, choosing any point on this outer circle, we mark off these distances. And when we've done that, we'll find we now have five points around the big circle. And if we join those five points with straight lines, you'll see that they just skim the original circle. And so we've got a regular pentagon which sits just outside the circle that we started off with. And that's exactly what we wanted. And so there you have it. Three different ways to construct a regular pentagon with a ruler and a compass, either with a given edge length or with a given circumradius, in other words it's inside a given circle, or with a given in radius, in other words the circle is inside the pentagon.